Iran launched dozens of missiles at Israel today. This is just the latest in the escalating war going on in the Middle East. Rebecca Castor with how the world is responding. The Israel Defense Forces said Israelis can now leave protected shelters after what was the largest ballistic missile attack in history. The Israeli army says close to 200 missiles were fired at the Jewish state on Tuesday. The country's Iron Dome missile defense system intercepting the weapons in the night sky, while air raid sirens wailed and explosions above Tel Aviv with flashes of light from the intercepting rockets. <laughs> Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps said the attack was in retaliation for the killing of Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah in Beirut last week. I think this is a start of something more. It's going to be a little bit larger. And I think you have to expect that the Israelis will respond in a very forceful manner. The barrage of missiles from Iran comes a day after Israeli forces began ground operations in Lebanon. Israeli forces are trying to rid southern Lebanon of Hezbollah, so some 60,000 Israelis can go back to their homes near the border. We are declassifying a series of IDF operations conducted since the beginning of the war, aimed at dismantling Hezbollah's terrorist infrastructure and capabilities. Nearly two dozen Lebanese border communities have been ordered by Israel to evacuate. The White House says President Biden has directed the U.S. military to aid Israel's defense against Iranian attacks and shoot down any missiles targeting the country. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, WDRB News.